My name is Alan, and I work um, for a company called Anonic. It's, uh, it's an original company that works with SMS. Uh, um, yeah, and uh, today we're going to talk about uh, business values of the progressive web apps. And here's the question: Who knows what the progressive web apps are? One, two. Yes, great. You're my audience. You don't know anything about it. That's cool. <laughs> Okay, um, before we, we talk about what um, the progressive web app is, let's talk about what a uh, web app is. Um, according to um, Wikipedia, it's the um, web, uh, 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 web app is the computer um, program that runs in the um, client and that runs in a um, browser, which kind of implies that it has to have access to uh, to internet, it has to be online, and it has to run inside the, the, the browser. Um, so, when we start, yeah, runs in the web browser. Uh, so when we start um, uh, talking about the progressive web apps, that's when the confusion starts, because uh, it's this word, the, the progressive word that causes a lot of uh, confusion. People tend to get really confused. Is this just a sales pitch? Is it just a cool word? So uh, what is that? Why, why a web app should be called progressive? Uh, but in fact, the progressiveness of uh, web app means that uh, it doesn't need a um, browser to run. So you can take the, the, the browser out of the uh, equation. In fact, it doesn't even need the internet at all. So it's the self-contained app, which can work offline, which will use up the entire uh, space on your device, and which uh, will, will still live even when you close the app. So the process will still have access to all the resources of your device. But uh, so um, basically, for a regular user, it will look as you would just be using a normal um, uh, mobile app. But uh, why would a web app mimic uh, a native <coughs> mobile app? Um, to answer this question, we have to look at uh, um, the progress of the web over the last uh, five, seven, ten years. Um, seven years ago, uh, having wasted God knows how much money trying to build a, a web version of the Facebook app, Mr. Mark said the following, that uh, betting on HTML5 was one of the biggest uh, mistakes we've made. And then he went on uh, making the mobile versions uh, of Facebook. And that was a uh, year 2012, not so long ago, but still, in uh, terms of uh, web uh, technology, it's quite, uh, it's quite a long time. Uh, and we cannot blame him for saying that, because uh, if, if we look at the uh, state of the... Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I got the, the projector in the course. Yes. Okay, but um, basically, we cannot blame him um, because the state of the web in 2012, or even even five uh, years ago, was quite miserable. Uh, no offline support, no access to uh, device hardware. Um, website could only wrap uh, run inside the, the browser. Uh, web app was not not installable on the uh, device. Um, web app was not not um, designed to run inside a small device, iPad or a, or a cell phone, and uh, there was no user uh, no user engagement whatsoever, no 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 uh, interaction with the user. So uh, yeah, that was um, quite uh, that was quite a sad time. Uh, but if we look at the state of the web now, in 2019 or uh, last year, last couple of years, things are looking much better. Uh, web apps 
have offline support, so they can actually work offline, which is kind of which, which sounds a bit weird. How can web app work uh, without access to web? Um, web apps have uh, access to most of the uh, devices' hardware, Bluetooth, camera, storage, uh, lots of almost everything. It's it depends on the uh, device, uh, obviously, but uh, on the platform. But still, uh, they don't need them. They, whoa, okay, we're up. Yeah, they don't need them on browser, as I showed you. Um, they can be uh, they can be actually uh, installed on your device. You will actually have an icon on your uh, home home screen to launch the app. Uh, they are responsive, so they will um, fit the format there uh, they they are running in and uh, user engagement via yeah, push notification. So basically you will not notice the difference between mobile and uh, web. You can, uh, you can read more at this link it, uh, and you will be shocked to how much your, uh, your web, uh, your web uh, browser or your web app is actually capable of nowadays. Um, so if now, in 2019, uh, web, web development uh, has mostly uh, caught up with mobile development. It means that you as a developer, you can build the same app, both as a mobile app and a web app, and your user will not notice any difference, basically. Um, yeah, so, uh, but if, you're, uh, if you own a business, what are the costs? What's yeah? How much is it gonna cost you as a um, business owner to build a mobile app or web app? Should I build both? Should I maintain both? Uh, to answer this, we have to look at the um, application lifecycle and basically analyze the um, costs on every uh, stage for both technologies. Um, yeah, build. Building a mobile app means building a, a, at least two versions of it, one for iOS and one for Android. And these two um, platforms, they have totally different tech stack, which means that you will need two uh, development teams to build both apps, even though they will share the same, uh, same code base. And uh, the mobile um, developers, they are expensive guys, so uh, this will cost you. Um, when it comes to building a, 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 a web app, it's a simple JavaScript and HTML and, and CSS, and uh, any, any IT student can do that nowadays. So um, building a um, progressive web app is very cheap. Um, my deployment is another sad story. So uh, if you build your uh, two um, um, versions of the uh, mobile app and you want to uh, deploy them to the app store, this is a very long and cumbersome um, process. So this is uh, on the left, it's the uh, diagram of uh, submitting the app to the app store, to, to the Apple store. And on the right is uh, Google Play. So it will take you at least two days in the best case, yeah. before your app will be be uh, in the store. So it's not easy, and of course, um, the uh, uh, if you want to roll out the, uh, the update, you have to go not 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 the entire way, of course, but you will have to, yeah. There's a there's a, a separate process for that. So it, so it will take time, and then let's say that. Um, um, you succeeded, your uh, teams have built the, the apps, you deployed the app to the stores and uh, it's there. You will um, face another big issue uh, and that's getting your app discoverable, getting users to actually know that your app really exists. Uh, this is the, the actual statistics, and, uh, and according to this, um, regular users, they don't download any apps on an average month. 
So if you if you try to remember the last time you you downloaded an app, maybe it will be, maybe it was a long time ago. And um, yeah. And even if they did download your app, most likely they will open it once and just forget about it. This is the statistics showing how how often people open the app after they have downloaded it. You see it goes all the way down. I'm not talking about Facebook, obviously. Um, yes, more than 75% uh, of the, 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 the apps that you have not downloaded, they will only be open once. Um, here is uh, even more mind-blowing statistics for you. That's, um, that's probably the best one, no diagrams. There are almost two and a half million apps in stores, but uh, 61% of them have never been downloaded. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you try to just get your head around the, uh, the the amount of work and money invested in this, you will be shocked. Um, so the question we have to ask as uh, developers, as the, the business owners, is uh, this, why spend money and the resources on something that may not be used by anyone? Uh, so if you, if you as a business owner want to, to get your app recognized, known, then you have to promote it and it costs money. Again, you remember we we're talking about the uh, mobile apps now, not the web apps. Um, when it comes to web apps, they are easy to uh, deploy and update. Because when we uh, build it, we simply uh, deploy it to the server without having to go through any uh, stages of the, um, the um, approval, um, verification, nothing. And then uh, when the app is on the uh, server, then it's very easy to share it. You just send the link to, to your app because it's it's basically a, a website. So uh, it will be indexed by the uh, by SEO. It will be indexed by the uh, the, the, uh, the search uh, robots just for, just like a regular website. And you can send the link to any page of your app to your um, your friends basically. So it's very easy to to get the app discovered. Yeah, so let's uh, sum it up. Um, when it comes to to uh, features, to more technical aspects, um, I would say that, um, that progressive web apps, they uh, have caught up generally with the mobile apps. So uh, we talked about uh, the client support, we talked about uh, the access to hardware, and the, uh, they are installable, they are responsive, they provide user engagement, and they're safe. The last but not least, uh, so if you think that, uh, okay, maybe it's safer to have my app in the App Store, no, it's not really like that, because uh, um, the progressive web app, they uh, require HTTPS, so uh, you, can, you should not care about the, uh, the, uh, the security. And um, when we talk about business aspects, uh, we talked about that building a mobile app is expensive, while um, with web app it's very simple. Maintenance, same thing. Uh, deployment, quite hard and uh, takes time for mobile apps. Um, promotion, again, costs money and costs nothing for um, the uh, web apps. Then installing um, the updates is also for you as a user. It will take time to update. You have to go through App Store and uh, log in and uh, yeah, download, update, and everything. While with um, PWA, you just go <coughs> and, click and the app is on your device. <coughs> no, it's not. Uh, no installations. Nothing. Yes. So we. Um, talked about business aspects and it's nice to see tables but you probably want to hear about uh, some success uh, stories 
uh, of businesses that actually succeeded from using the impressive web apps. Uh, yeah, Tinder got the uh, in the old times almost uh, by almost three times, uh, and the size of the MPW is much uh, much uh, much smaller than the mobile app. By the way, uh, I'm uh, talking about the size. Uh, do you know how big the Facebook mobile app is on your device while we're on it? Any guesses? 200 megs? How big? 200 megs? More? More times? Huh? Huh? That's some um, 450 megabytes on your device without cash when you download it. And the, and the mobile version is Four megabytes. Yeah. Um, Pinterest. They uh, they rebuilt their uh, entire mobile app as a um, progressive web app, and they uh, they uh, improved basically everything. So uh, the revenue and the uh, time that users uh, must spend on the uh, site. Um, um, Twitter Lite is another uh, good example. Uh, Basically, I, I uh, increase in, in everything. It's faster. It's um, better bounce rate and uh, and increase in um, in uh, how many pages uh, a user view my procession. Uh, and um, finally, to e-commerce behemoth, Alibaba and Ali and AliExpress, they uh, almost entirely rely on the. the Progressive web apps because they're in Asia with uh, not so good uh, uh, internet. It's very uh, important for them that users can use the app on the low bandwidth. So as you can see, the uh, statistics is just crazy. So uh, like uh, AliExpress uh, improved uh, the, the the conversion rate by 100 percent. So it's crazy. Just think about how much money this is. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. This is an empty slide for some reason. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, if you want more statistics, if you want to uh, to surprise your um, boss, then go here and just uh, show it to him. It's like tons of cool uh, 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 stories about successful uh, implementation of progressive products. And uh, if you're still not convinced, here's the. Uh, last year's uh, uh, news for you. Facebook is testing the improper progressive web app for its mobile website. So the very same guy who just seven uh, um, years ago said that our biggest um, mistake was to bet on, on HTML5 came back to it. And, uh, and I think it's a very good proof that web development reached Maybe if, if not it's big, but at least it it, it, it surpassed the uh, native development. Uh, yeah, that's basically all I had. Any more questions so far? Now you at least know what progressive web app is. That's good. That's a good start. Yeah. Any questions? Uh, have you built a separate stack? For, I mean, have you implemented VWAs is the first question. Oh, yes. The so, second question is, did you transform your current stack or did you build a separate stack for? Uh, we never had a mobile app. So we given up uh, before we uh, tried. <laughs> because you have to, to think a bit ahead, right? And uh, we didn't have any resources that were capable of building a mobile app, basically. And if we... If we uh, wanted that, it would mean hiring at least two teams, and it's uh, it's simply not worth it. It took it took us maybe a, a week to build our our first um, um, GitHub. It was very simple, and it just works. Anything else? I'm going to ask one of the people who are when would you not? So what can apps do that PWA is capable? Uh, they don't really like uh, Apple at the moment, or the other way around. Apple uh, didn't like the um, progressive 
web apps up until last year because uh, they obviously saw this as some threat for the App Store, which is like a very good source of uh, income um, for them. But uh, since all other uh, modern uh, browsers added support for it, they didn't have any other choice than to just uh, jump on the train, but they were um, very late. So with every new um, release of iOS, they add some features to it, but they're still kind of lagged behind. So if you have an iPhone and you install a um, um, GWA, you may notice that some things may not work, but if you're on Android, then they'll be fine. I have one question. Yes. Uh, what did you do in terms of driving adoption for Progressive Web App? Because I think most everybody just knows to go to the App Store and download an app, but this is very new, Progressive Web App. So was there any sort of like messaging or marketing or something that you did to sort of drive user adoption to uh, Yeah, you mean like uh, me, me as a company, yeah. what would I do? Yeah. Uh, it's the, um, first of all, the, it's the uh, SEO. SPO, so it's uh, it's the same as what he would do with the um, websites, basically. So this means like uh, any kinds of um, promotions on Facebook, on uh, LinkedIn. You can uh, basically um, just uh, just just um, provide a link to the app or to some specific um, pages, uh, something you would not be able to do with the uh, mobile app, right? So. Uh, it, yeah, uh, uh, you still have to more promote, obviously, but it's much easier because there's indexing. Mobile apps cannot be indexed, right? You have to um, point the user to the app, but uh, with the um, web, it's much easier. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.